Hello! We've just released version 1.5 of Liquid Notes, which is different from its previous versions in many ways. Liquid Notes 1.5 features a major rework of the user interface and additional functions for a better workflow, and also an easier point of entry for first-time users. Uh, so let's start with loading a template to work with. Let's take Okay, movie theme. Um, so now you can see the overview. It contains a few more elements now. Let's start with the chord view here uh, with all chords of a song displayed on a timeline. That was already a feature of version 1.4, but this global chord view is now combined with a track view right below it, uh, showing the activity of all the instruments of an arrangement. It shows you all instruments as vertical lines and the lines are interrupted when the respective instrument isn't producing a sound. So what's really new here are the possibilities for handling the song segment you're working on. This segment is represented by the blue navigator window. Drag the window at its ends uh, to enlarge or shrink it. Uh, you can also drag the entire window to a different part of the song. And of course, you can also jump directly there by clicking on the new position, like this. Um, and of course, you can place the cursor uh, anywhere by clicking in the chord view. So for better usability, the main control elements on the screen have been reassigned and sit on different places now. What's most obvious here, um, instead of one controller with all the functions combined as before, you now see two knobs and one slider. The slider controls functions, chord functions, and chord functions make up cadences. So if you want to create a simple one, four, five uh, chord progression, you just leave the first slider at position one for the tonic, you shift the second slider to uh, the fourth step for subdominant and the next one to the fifth for the dominant. And voila, we have a basic cadence. Let's listen to it. Now the upper rotary knob controls chord substitutions and the lower knob, the one in the middle of the elements, does the same for tension. With increased tension, a chord contains more notes and also the dissonance of the chord has increased. The knobs have colored rings to indicate the deviation from the most usual state, that would be green, to the most unusual one, red, uh, in terms of musical conventionality. So, of course, the old logic with chord progressions hasn't changed. That means when you change a chord, the next chord might not fit so well anymore, which is then indicated by a different color more towards yellowish red. Uh, then you know the chord progression has become more unusual. So, but uh, we're turning this one back again to make it fit more nicely. And of course, such unusual chord progressions can be very interesting too. Um, you can select chords directly too. Uh, so when you click on the chord symbol, a drop-down list with all possible chords in progressive order of conventionality shows. In other words, chords on the top of the list fit the best. And then it goes down and here um, with the second window, from the second window you can add tension. Um, now let's go to the colored line. It shows the average of the two knobs. It gives a general idea of the chord's distinctiveness. 
Um, this provides you with a pretty accurate overall weight of the chord sound. And all the colors in a row then show the succession of tension and release over time. So then we have additional items on the menu uh, to jump to settings quickly. You might already be familiar with the one for instrument assignments and routing. That's the one here. And then there is a second one, the one for the reharmonize settings. And when you have applied changes here, don't forget to double click on one of the knobs to have the respective area you want to work on recalculated correctly. And of course, um, clicking on one of the knobs once will give you a chord preview. All right, so there is also an added feature to get MIDI arrangements out of live into liquid notes, uh, because with from live you cannot export uh, multi-track MIDI arrangements. But for that, please watch our step-by-step -step video tutorial. Um, and so these were the main new features in Liquid Notes uh, version 1.5. A lot has changed, as you can see, uh, but there is even more to come. Thanks for watching.